Many thanks to the EA Creator Network for the early access code for the Four Rent expansion pack. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my mini playthrough of the pack. And I am going to essentially take a look at the world, take a look at the new lot type and running it as a property owner. And we're going to work a little bit on two of the four new aspirations, the location one, the it's the um, Fount of Tumorani Knowledge and the Fortune one that is focused on, you know, being a property owner. And we'll try and explore the world a little bit and see if we can find some of the marbles, which was one of the new collectibles, and the tassels, which is the other new collectible that comes with the pack. There is also a new part-time career that is available for young adults and up and one of our two adult sims is going to do it and speaking of our adult sims these sims the two of them are sims from my scenario let's plays fern here looks a little bit different because of course they've all been given makeovers from things that are from the for rent pack and so most of their clothing is from the pack where possible and their hairstyles are and I will have a separate video essentially showing their looks and a little bit showing just the on the side what comes with the pack for the um creative sim so that'll be separate so of course I'll do that with this family so Fern was my plant sim for the plant sim scenario and then after that i did the no skill no problem scenario and that was where sebastian came in and they are all spellcasters though fern wasn't when she was a plant sim because you can't be a spellcaster and a plant sim at the same time because <laughs> they're both considered a cult but she is now and then they met and got engaged and did the honeymooners scenario though they actually could they couldn't be engaged for the honeymooners scenario because it put them as engaged and then they did a short cookout scenario and then they went on and did the one where you were to raise uh adopt or have a baby and raise it to the teen and you were supposed to get over like the festering grudge but it marked it as complete but they still have a festering grudge <laughs> Both of them with, well, she, the teen, has it with her parents. So I'll be trying to get rid of that too a little bit, but that'll be on the side. And we're going to convert their their lot, or it is, I think it is set up as a residential. I had some issues, actually. I've tried this a few times um, where it didn't fully set it up as a residential rental and I didn't actually want it to be I wanted it to be a regular residential lot and then I was going to convert it to a residential rental but it seemed to be thinking it still was one even though it wasn't one but I think I've resolved that and we're going to try and assign the units because this is their big house they ha will have this floor will be theirs and the upstairs also will be theirs but then downstairs is where we're going to have two units and some shared areas so this here all around is going to be shared i'm going to put the, the walls up so you can see like so they have windows so even though it's a basement this is not using any of like the landscaping this is just using basements it's fine i find this works well and they have a shared pool for everybody and some amenities if anyone has a cat the cats can come hang out here I don't know if they will but I know with one of my I was doing some test playing with like a sims who just started with starting funds they have lots of money because you know <laughs> of what they've been doing um they one of the people the only tenant who moved in had three cats <laughs> so anyways I don't know that what's going to happen here but we shall see and uh, then there's like an exercise room and then there's the utility room so those will be shared they have their own exercise equipment in their own house upstairs but i figured that would be probably nice so this is a two bedroom two bathroom unit with like an open floor plan living area and this is a two bedroom one bathroom unit with again the open floor plan area they lose a little bit um it's a bit narrower so like from here to here is the same width but they this house goes here so it's a bit bigger this is a little bit bigger even which is you know why they have <laughs> two one smaller bathroom as their second bathroom for that one which is off the kids room so this is essentially like a parent's room and then there's room let's go back into cutaway for an infant in here 
And same with this, it mirrors kind of, not exactly, but same, they have the same things in the rooms. And then this room has like bunk beds with a toddler bed, depending on, you know, what comes into the house. And it's, it's reasonably decorated. It has some, you know, they have a kettle that comes with the pack. They have the, uh, pressure cooker that comes with the pack and then the fridge honestly and the stove I think are growing together possibly uh, I don't know that I don't think any appliance no major appliances come with the pack but the counters are from the pack and where I could I tried to use a fair amount of the things that come from the pack so this this bed in both of these rooms comes with the pack but bunk beds are from dream home decorator and uh, they didn't have any sh bathtubs with the pack they only have a shower and I wanted them to have, you know, all in one. So that's a space game, you know, and then I didn't actually the stats on the couch that comes with the pack wasn't that high. So this is Discover University that may be too, but they also didn't have any love seats that come with the pack. So but the little table <laughs> and some of the decorations are with the pack. So but a fair amount did come with the pack, just not everything that's in the apartments, but a decent amount. And um yeah, and then there's marbles and hopscotch, of course, for them. And we'll have to unlock. We'll also try and maybe see if we can have the two social events. The pool party, because we have a pool, and the potluck. Because the potluck unlocks the new grill. So hopefully we can get that too. So let's now try making it so that there's not all one unit <laughs> and that we have two extra units here. So we're going to go into build mode and see. So we have this and all of this is down is right. And then we're going to say that this is shared. This is going to be shared and this is going to be shared. And then this is going to be a unit. So it's going to become two and this is going to be two two make sure I get everything two and of course I want this to be also <laughs> it won't do very well to be part of the first one since it's not accessible and then this is going to be we're going to create a unit and it's three by default and so then this is going to be three three and three so that looks like that's all yellow, which is what we want. This is all pink, which is what we want. The share doesn't seem to have any color outline. And then this is showing the porch, which is what I also want to be part of this. It's all showing as blue, as is this porch too, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is, yeah, it is. <laughs> it was dashed, but maybe because it's outside, so they don't make it quite so solid, I suppose. And then we have the upstairs is all is here. So <laughs> fun fact, we, we only, I don't know if I mentioned this because I had some issues. <laughs> I'm going through this more than once. Um, when my Sims left their home in Henford on Bagley and Sebastian's younger sister, who's a teen, is living there, uh, I tried to leave everybody behind. I picked a few chickens I wanted to bring. So they had this, but they were like, you left your cow behind. <laughs> I had, to, <laughs> I had to use move objects and I shrunk the shed, which I know there's some visual glitching and I am currently playing without any mods in my game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was kind of funny. Anyway, so we have now done this conversion and let's see what the suggestions and it says we have everything that's needed for the suggestions for our main unit about here. Okay, this is two. Let me actually look because I can't remember which is which. So the pink one has two and two. And then this one has two and one. And one. So, and that's not a hue. And let's see what they say for the suggestions. It has everything needed, which I would have thought. And this has everything needed too. And then this actually is five. And then it's actually six bathrooms because we have one shared. Well, we actually have two shared bathrooms like that are like accessible from main living areas. And then four of the bathrooms are attached to bedrooms. So, but one of, we do have a upstairs, there's two bathrooms. It just doesn't have the 
upstairs being here, we have this one here, and then there is a, a bathroom here that's accessible from like the main living area. So they don't have their own bathroom, <laughs> which is why I don't have seven bathrooms <laughs> for it. Anyway, so that looks like we're done with that. Fingers crossed. And now that we have that, we have this unit rating change. Unit rating just changed by a whole star. Check out the own businesses panel for more details. And then we have the unit rating has been updated due to changes made from build mode, such as the addition of removal of objects or the result of live mode situation affecting the unit. Pay careful attention as a higher rating will result in an increased max rent for the unit. And that's what we got there. Now I'm curious, because when I was sort of testing and having problems, I should have no toys in here because I took all those toys out, but it was just the fridge. But I noticed that there were no toys when I, after I converted and I wasn't if, sure if that had to do with that. But our fridge stuff is in there. So I need to quickly put everything back in from our toy box, from our things. And our book is still there that I left there too, but I just, I had noticed all the toys disappeared. <laughs> I don't know if that was, we'll, we'll see. I'll uh, quickly put everything back. And now they are grayed out, as you'd expect, because you can't see inside anymore. So what we're going to do now is try and rent them out. So we are four stars and it looks like it's going down for some reason. I'm not really sure. So we're going to try and fill the vacancy. So the four, two, so let's, we're going to have, there's, so there's various rules that we can apply. So the size is large, the amenities are luxury, the environment is fancy, and of course the maintenance is poor, but that just starts that way. So the rent they're showing as 179, we could change the lease length, but we're going to leave it at the seven. Um, and the only rule I really want to do is this Mac, is this no trash overload, not anything else, no trash overload, because I haven't really experienced it, but they say here, um, for the no loud, you might, Sims love to enjoy loud music or television, so this might make for an unpopular property owner because they can't use it from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So we're going to try and see how it goes. So we're going to look here. Um, we'll increase the rent to 200, given that's not that high considering the max rent. And then we're going to select tenants, see what is our options. So we have here an elder, a young adult, a child, and a toddler. We could do that, honestly, because the elder can just share the room with the child and the toddler. <laughs> so our bunk beds. Um, I'm not sure that I really want... Uh, let's see what else there is. Uh, we have this elder with three cats, two young adults, young adult, uh, young adult, young adult, and two infants. Hmm. But we let's look at their rents that they want. This person has that uh, we have the ability for cats. It's kind of big. I, I'm not saying for this one. Let's see. I kind of wonder what their traits are too. So we're going to try them. Maybe we'll go back and increase the rent because <laughs> they're really, they're willing to spend 343. So maybe we should just increase the rent. And I expect we're going to get the same people up again, but we should see. And she's will that person. I don't know whether it's a male or female. Um, so we're going to go back here and we're going to increase the rent. Not by much, not to their cap. We're just going to do 250. Keep it reasonable still. And we're going to choose them. And we're going to say yes for that. And now we're going to try and fill the vacancy for the next one and see if it is the same. We're going to say no trash overload. And this rent can't be as high. So we're going to do 225. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see who's available, if it's the same Sims or other people. Oh, it's different. We have a teen and a dog. I didn't really set up for dog. I set up for cats. So, I mean, there's also a pet. Oh, the, isn't that a ghost? <laughs> there's that Lou, that elder. They just need one bed. They all just need one bed. Oh, it's a couple. Hmm. But a teen might be good, because we actually have a teen, and there's no teens down there. So, I'm just not sure I want a dog. <laughs> I'm not sure about a dog. So, for, for me, it's between this teen and the dog. Or this elder and three cats. 
Hmm. I think we'll go for the, uh, the teen and the dog, I guess. We'll see. Hopefully it works out. And there we go. They are booked. We have them. We don't see them yet. We have to wait. And she's about to go to work. School, I should say. Let's see whether we can do a smooth apology. And then <laughs> I f uh, see, because I know when I've had this before, it takes quite a while. But we're going to try. Smooth apology. Soon. And then I'm not sure whether we'll get a uh -huh. daily no. unit tax. <laughs> One, It's 50 per unit. Oh, well, why is this... Oh, I probably need to change this to home unit. Here, let's try doing that again. And it does say it's home unit. I'm not sure why that's... It's the home unit. I don't know why we have to... Why it's saying to fill the vacancy when we already live in there. Actually, I'm going to add some here. I had some, but they got rid of them <laughs> because of the, uh, I think, because of, I think, again, I was having some problems, so who knows. We'll try the mold and see how that goes, and then we will, we'll see. I don't know why it's saying to fill, fill the vacancy. <laughs> Currently occupied, yeah, because we live in it. Okay, well, I don't know why that is like that. Travel to unit. Oh, we're in it. Anyways, I'll have to look into that. <laughs> and uh, we'll see. Right now, we are a chief drink operator because we got the fresh chef trait with him. And we're going to actually have him switch and join the, the new job, which... Find a job. So that he can do the handy person job. But he is level, they both are level 5, I don't know if I mentioned this, um, celebrities, so... And he has the perk that they start ahead, so he should start at level 3. Also, if you played with the Sim as they, and if they'd been a teen, they would be, uh... And they were an A high school student when they graduated, they would also start at level 3. You'd be at the top of this career. And the easiest way to find it, honestly, is to look here at the part-time. And much as it's part-time, it is a part-time that only... Um, young adults and up can do. I don't remember if I mentioned that, but anyways, here we go. We're gonna switch. And, uh, I don't really want that as a new... We quit that. And he works in 24 hours, because he works from 8, 11, 8 till 11. And is he gonna get a task that they're asking him to do? He should restore newness. So, find worn house. Well, I don't know if we have any worn household object in our home or shared space because everything is pretty much brand new right now. <laughs> well, let's see if we have any option on anything to restore newness. I'm thinking we're not going to. I'm not, uh, I don't know what you would see it on. Yeah, I'm guessing, I'm thinking we're not going to have that as a thing we can really do. So, not seeing. And it just says, find a, a household object. Find a worn household object at home or in a shared space and select it. Okay, well, I'm not seeing it, I have to say. So I think we're not going to get that done. And let's see. We'll see whether or not we get a welcome wagon. But you know what we can do right now is we can leave fruit or incense at this spirit house, which is something you buy in build mode. And we'll have him leave incense. And then we'll have her leave incense. And then if I had a sale, we could have people come over and that might make it easier to, uh, you know, use this or whatnot. Did she get part of her work done? Yes. She can't do the other part. Because she has to be angry, and she's not angry. So, so he's got that done. And we can just have him... We have all our toilets are squat toilets, so we can go in here and use it. Because <laughs> he's confident. And we'll have her come here and leave fruit, since we've already left the incense there. 
Now, what I'm not sure is how long this stays on here. Like, so if I wanted our team to do this, you can only leave fruit and insects and not incense and nothing else. So I'm not sure whether we'll be able to leave, like when we'll be able to. Okay, she got a promotion. So, and I don't know what she needs to do. Oh, she has to do mischief. I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter. I won't necessarily... That's not the focus, obviously. I'll be doing any of that stuff, mostly off camera. So let's look and see if we can find anybody in the neighborhood that we could do this Tumorani. She's a mail carrier. Why don't we have Fern come here and try and do a Tumorani introduction. Oh, and she has the child of the village personality trait, so we need to... Oh, she's probably angry from that best festering grudge. We need you to come over and do that. Because that would be... I've sometimes had problems finding... I know there is the Sim who was in the uh, dag, dag. premiere trailer and she's in the world with like the long hair. She has the child of the village personality trait. And my Sims had met them. Not these Sims, but other Sims. But before I realized about this. And so it didn't count. Oh, we have a... Possibly a... I see fruitcake. <laughs> I see fruitcake coming, so maybe we have a welcome wagon. We'll meet some of our, our, uh, and she's there singing. You know what? You can come home. And I don't know what happened to the male person because they, they were good to meet. Oh, here we go. We already have. Okay. Why don't you do, um, we're going to do a Tumorani. No, we're going to invite neighbors in. Greet new. We're going to invite neighbors in and then we'll do an introduction to her because she's the one. Where are you guys going? <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, why don't you invite neighbors in? Okay, I don't know where the others went. They're here. Okay, now we're going to try and do a Tumorani introduction and a Tumorani introduction. You can come back. <laughs> Please come back. And she's the one with the trait. So we're going to try doing it directly there. Because he can transport a late there. Because they're like fairly high level spellcasters. Which definitely makes it easier. Oh, he's all the way over here already. And he's just not listening, is he? Let's try this again now that she's really close to you. Can we actually do it? What is with this? Someone was telling how much they dislike you. Why? I, I would have thought that was a message you got when you had a bad reputation, not a pristine reputation. That makes no sense. I don't know. I don't know if that's new. Yay, we got it. It was because she was trying to do the introduction. Can we invite in? Chat about property values. Well, she doesn't really need it, so we don't really care that much. We're going to do... We just want to do these Tumorani introductions. So maybe you can do it. So she's creative, child of the village, and good. Stop singing. <laughs> I know that's what you're doing. Just stop it right now. <laughs> and then all we have to do is use the toilet three times. Friendly. Now maybe you can meet her and do a Tumorani introduction. You can do a Tumorani introduction. I don't know what his traits were. But we can look. Glad we had a chance to chat. Oh, he's evil. Hates children. <laughs> he needs to use it one more time. Can you try and introduce... Not that we need it for the uh, child of the village. Because we already got it with our sim here. Vanessa. Vanisha. Vanisha. And is this the Snoop? Let's try and, uh, or let's just rant the same hairstyle, maybe. Let's just do it. I know we don't need to do it anymore, because I think we've got them all, but we'll do it. Oh, she doesn't, she isn't child of the, uh... Oh, she, that's, I thought she was the, um... Uh, I don't know, I thought she looks like she got a male person outfit, but... Anyway, so we got that done, and that's all that matters. Because <laughs> the the person, no, we don't want that trait. 
I have that enabled because I'm hoping we might get some of the traits that come with the pack that I might like be interested in doing. But I'm not interested in just random traits. So, so much for our welcome wagon. Nobody's actually here. So we're going to transport light here together and hopefully they'll get over here. And, uh, oh, they're in our room here. And they broke that. Okay, out. You can leave. Oh, we don't even know you. What is your traits? We're going to do a respectful introduction because I want to know if you're evil or hates children. And I went with that because the Tumorani wasn't showing up. We're going to lock for everybody but the household members. <laughs> Hopefully no one will come into our... into there. You can come here and repair that. <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't repair that. Maybe you wonder if that'll count. I don't know. No, no, I said not to repair it. <laughs> don't repair it. We'll let your husband do it and see if that helps. Okay, so what were... Do we get the traits? Someone was mean and destroyed our daughters. Um, no, you didn't. He's embarrassed. Well, if you destroyed that dollhouse, then you deserve to be embarrassed. Oh, but you're angry. Probably you did it. You did it, didn't you? Are you the elder from downstairs? They're both... They must be. They must be from downstairs. Yes, I've, ha I've had that where they invade. No, I don't want to be that. No, I don't. <laughs> so, she's playful now. But maybe she destroyed it because she was... We got two in a row. Did we get her traits? Foodie, family oriented, and nosy. Okay, and do we get your traits? We don't have your traits yet. Are you family oriented and then you destroyed the. Because I'm thinking you did it because you were angry. How come we didn't learn your traits? I don't know. We're going to try and uh, friendly do this Tumorani introduction, and then we might see what the gossip is. He's loyal, ambitious, and materialistic. Let's see what this gossip... Rental. Ask about rental conditions. Let's see what we have to say. Oh, I guess you don't like that chair. <laughs> Good thing you don't have that design down there. Let's see what we got with asking about the rental conditions. If you're doing it. Okay, well, I don't know what we got. Did we get a message, at least, from that? Elite property owner from asking about rental conditions. The tenant is thoroughly enjoying their experience in this residential rental and is overflowing with positive feedback. Well, there's that. That's good. But we're actually going to leave this part here. Likes and comments are always appreciated, and they really help with the algorithms. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!